when life gives you bananas, just eat them. Necessity is the mother of inventions, and I don't deny that fact. Frankly speaking, this is the second time I bumped into our garage wall since we moved into this new house. That's it. There would be no third time. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. With JLC PCB, you can order five very high quality 10 cm by 10 cm custom PCBs of any color for just $2. Using the free PCB designing tool EasyEDA from jlcpcb.com, I'm going to design the version 2 of my parking assistant. EasyEDA allows the creation and editing of schematic diagrams, spice simulation of mixed analog and digital circuits, and the creation and editing of PCB layouts and manufacturing of PCBs using JLC PCB. The ordering process of PCBs is very simple. You can either log into your jlcpcb.com account and upload your Gerber file, or from the EasyEDA app, click on the file icon, select generate fabrication file, then select the fabrication options, and then click on the order at jlcpcb button. This will take you to the jlcpcb.com website and will upload the file for you. If you want to customize your PCB, you can do it using these options. Once everything is set, go ahead and order your PCB for just $2. For my project, I chose the white color. It looks pretty decent, isn't it? JLC PCB ships from China to most of the countries of the world within three to seven business days. Talking about the quality, it's absolutely mind-blowing. For this project, we need eight multicolored LEDs, eight 220 ohm resistors, one Arduino Nano, one ultrasonic sensor, a speaker, and a 100 ohm resistor. Let's start by connecting the LEDs to the pin number D5 to D12 of the Arduino with a 220 ohm resistor in between each one of the pins. Then, let's connect the speaker to A0 pin of the Arduino. The trick pin of the ultrasonic sensor connects to D2 and the echo pin connects to D3 of the Arduino. Finally, connect the VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor to 5 volt output of the Arduino. And to finish the circuit, connect all the negative pins to the ground pin of the Arduino. I'll start by soldering the LEDs to the board. Red on top, then yellow, followed by blue and green at the bottom. You can use whatever color you want, totally depends on how you want to present it. The reason I chose these colors was to show the level of severity as the car approaches the wall. I could have even used a single color for the whole setup. After soldering the LEDs, I'm soldering the 8 220 ohm current limiting resistors to the back of the board. Next, I'm soldering the buzzer and the 100 ohm resistor to the board. After that, I'm soldering two rows of female pin header strips to hold the Arduino. Next, it's time for me to solder the ultrasonic sensor to the bottom bit of the board. And finally, before detaching the bottom bit, I'm soldering the cables to the board. Alright, so this is how it looks like. Now let's look at the code in the next section. Start the code by including the new tone.h library and by defining the constants and the global variables that will be used throughout the code. Then in the setup section, define the pin modes. Now, in the loop section, calculate the distance in inches by reading the value received from the ultrasonic sensor. Then, by checking the value of distance, we will turn on or off the LEDs based on how far the object is. If the distance is greater than 200, Turn all the LEDs and the buzzer off. 
Next bit of the code checks if the object is currently stationary. It compares the value of the current distance with the previous distance and if the values are same, it increments the counter. If the object moves any time during this process, the counter is reset to zero. When the counter reaches 20, all the LEDs are turned off. And finally, create the function that turns off all the LEDs and the buzzer. Using my Land Rover R1 V1, I'm going to demonstrate the project to you guys. As you can see, the LED indicators go from green to red as the rover approaches the ultrasonic sensor. Yes, mission accomplished. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.